Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me in the final episode of this French campaign in which we're playing as a French social republic and we have already, of course, gone and liberated the mainland from communard tyranny and evils of uh, communardism and syndicalism and all that is illiteralism. But I did ask you guys yesterday in the last episode whether we should or should not uh, get Charles Valin, Francois Coty, uh, or Fr Francois Mitterrand, and at the time of this recording, there's a lot of support for all the uh, people here, but the most support has, goes to Charles Valin. Now, some of us wanted to get Mitterrand, which I do want to do as well, because I heard his voice before, or his name is before, but uh, for this one, we're going to go with Valin, and I apologize for not going with the certain route that some, people of us, some of us wanted, but I can't please everybody. Today, Charles Valin, a friend of De La Roque and the establishment candidate to succeed him as Ed Judd's rivals. He's used his long-standing connections and already broad power base to silence Mitterrand and Couture, and has seemed assumed unquestioned control over the CDF in France as a whole, seeking to make the CDF as a mass movement. His lower class appeal helped him gain edge over his opponents. Some alleged that he will repay his working class supporters with a drive to lessen the restrictions on them. It's been brushed off as fanciful by Valin. As establishment candidate, it seems more likely that he will be continuing France on the path set out for him by De La Roque. Um, a strong executive backed up by a subordinate industry and press seems to be his goal. Um, but in the meantime, we're going to start throwing some of these guys over here. Because, my god, we are going to need to. Because this is filled with a bunch of uh, Reichspack members. And then we go to war with these guys and hopefully blow them all up. At least that's a goal. Um, uh, we do have... We're going to definitely need but uh, we're going to through here. Yeah, definitely do that. And overall, not bad. Enough air bases here, too. That'd be good. And then, steady community. Or said the continuity. The battle for control between the triumvirate was a messy affair. Many poisonous remarks were uttered, and the three factions were reluctant to trust one another. But then seeks to put this funk conflict behind him and restore the status quo as it was before. To do that, he shall begin to emphasize the fact that De La Roque actually preferred him over Coty or Mitterrand. Whether he did or did not is not entirely known, but sufficient documentation has been created to present a convincing case. The martyr president is still beloved by the rank and file of the party. If they find out he wanted Berlin, they will want him too. And this is going to improve relations too. Commit to mass politics. Until, until now, the CDF has not been a true mass movement. Sure, we have a wide appeal of many members from all levels of society, but we never try to capture the power of the people as a political force that is until now, of course. Under Berlin, the CDF shall begin to hold rallies that are just as much advertisements as they are rallies. Flashy marches, grand ceremonies, lustrous parade grounds, all will be this come the stables of our official party functions. With the people on our side, we can do anything we put our minds to, and if people wanted to eagerly follow us into heck, if we directed them so, and they will. Uh, cement social Christianity. To many Christianity, it's synonymous with repression and terror. The word of God has been used and twisted by demons since the time began for their own nefarious aims. Uh, however, for all the demons twisting God's words into poison, there are more angels using it to justify acts of kindness and charity as spelled out in the Bible. To make Christianity more palatable to those who are most affected, we'll put those words of kindness into action. Government charities in the name of Christ will help to raise the standard of living for those most disenfranchised. At the same time, it will rehabilitate God in the eyes of those who are chased away. Ah, research, right? That's only 42, which is not bad. Uh, radar, sure, why not? Promote scouting. The youth are a very precious resource for the state. Their passion can be stoked into raging inferno and if taught the right thing early on enough, and enough. They'll be locked long party members. They're not only that, but they are the next generation. We must care for them so the next generation of Frenchmen will be stronger than the last. So we shall encourage them to join the newly established Federation of French Scouting. There they will learn to pre appreciate the outdoors and be taught uh, practicable uh, skills related to hiking and camping. Though this newfound vitality, they will grow into strong and loyal Frenchmen, ready to defend the land they so dearly love. Corporatism for the working man. Corporatism attempts to be populous by forcing companies to work for the common good, but they fail in their ultimate objective by giving concessions to the businesses to keep them on side. This cannot be done. We shall force the companies to work for the common good and force them to retreat or treat the workers better. All of this while uh, refusing to... Uh, de blank. This may ruffle some feathers and may draw some ire from the business leaders, but their opinions do not matter. Should they try to destroy Valin, then they should be seized from the factories and give them to someone more compliant. I have some comments to go through as well, such as, Can you play Antino, the last years of Europe, and unify Russia with Dervanger Brigade? Well, I don't think is a unifier, he's a disunifier, so he's, he, uh, he's there to make sure that people don't unify. So, I, I, I've played as Dervanger before, and he's a lot of fun, don't get me wrong. But he doesn't really have content in terms of... Uh, doing that, so. Unfortunately, I, it is unfortunate. The mobile economy, we don't really care at this point anymore. Um, so we did all these. Uh, total air war, we don't really need that one either. It makes more sense. If this one doesn't make too much sense for us to do, which I do like. But, research French rule. Now that the central government resides once more in the metropole, many colonists or colonials feel even more cut off from the power than before. And are pressing for greater independence, while the relocation of the central administration has less an ability to keep independence movements suppressed. The only remedy to this is to authorize new crackdowns against native organizations and nationalist groups, and to send more troops to reinforce colonial garrisons. 
We do what we must, not because we want to, but because we have to. Um, 1942, 42, 42, better. Uh, guns, I guess, you know. That's heavy chassis. Oh, oh, requires, oh, so we even get this one. What, what's the point of that, then? Requires technology, 1940s. So there's no point even... I went down here just to go get to that one. Okay, well, that's good to know, I guess, for the future. That's kind of dumb. Now, there's a comment going either saying necessity to reform versus maintaining legalist power, but we're going to go with maintaining legalist power because that's what someone in the comments wanted us to do. People are naturally inclined to send advice. The recent protest for more liberty show this plane is due today. If we keep God's favor and strengthen France, we must keep people in line. Through a strict adherence to the rules and regulations of our forefathers, can we achieve greatness? These protests are to be dispersed at once, and everyone will learn that as long as they don't break the rules, they can enjoy more freedom than they could ever, ever want. Absolutely. What is this? For la France divisible. Division of France, huh? Um, so we read all these ones as, too, as well, and we'll go through all that stuff. We read these ones last two last time. We're going to look east. We could do German thought, because it is possible for us to do that, but trade with the Reich and propose non-interference and a new era of peace at arm's length. But we'll probably go with the perennial enemy, because this is the one you usually choose. When I play as the democracy or democratic folk, I'll probably go with the German thought, but... The filthy box are irredeemable enemies of the French people. We can never commit the atrocities that they committed against innocent Frenchmen in the two world wars, whether or not these were under the thin veil of anti-socialism. We can never forget the plight of our brothers and sisters in Alsace Lorraine. New military exercises on the border and heightened aggressive rhetoric will give the Hun no warning that we are, they have coming. A sort of colonial claims. In the chaos of the undefeated revolution, Germany was able to seize legitimate French territories across the globe, with Franco-German relations once again deteriorating. We should reassert our claims of these colonies, encouraging unrest among the remaining French settlers, and garnering more legitimacy for anti-German stance. A new Alsace ultimatum. No more can we ignore the suffering under the Hunnic tyranny of our French brothers and sisters in Alsace, Lorraine, as the humiliation of 1870 remains an unhealed wound to the French national consciousness. A time has come to dispatch a new ultimatum of the German foe. Excuse our rightful lands, or face the wrath of a resurgent French nation. Not bad. Some of the comments include Try Seven Cop or the Russian Empire and Kaiser Redux. Someone else says, Can you know? Can you play the Serbian Federation under Miranda? Probably. Um, as I know, the comment says, I said earlier, I said we should go with legalist, uh, legalist power, which we will. Um, someone says, Take Mitterrand, please. He was a French president about 30 years ago and he was a social democrat with liberal characteristics. Seeing him here as a paternal Christian fascist autocrat makes me hard at AF. Please, bro, pick Francois. I'm sorry. Next time. Remind me next time we do this. I'll throw uh, Mitterrand. So, and I always pronounce all the French names wrong, but you know, of what course, else is new? The Germans refuse. Well, predictably enough, Germany has refused to flat out comply with their ultimatum, declaring an affront to peace and decrying us as aggressors who would plunge the world into war yet again. The more jingoistic members of our government demand that we now declare war on the Reich, as we threaten to do, in order to finally bring the box to justice for the crimes against France, but many doubt how we will fare in such a conflict. Ah, oh, there's Charles. We can mobilize for war. We can challenge German hegemony more peacefully. Nah, I've got to get ready for wars we're doing. Loose ends, of course. Um, we read quite a few of these earlier, um, but we will, of course, maintain legalist power. I read this earlier. Uh, National Charter of Labor. Today we have published a new National Labor Charter, signed by many major businesses and the state unions. This charter serves as a new contract between business and labor to bring about a new age of social harmony between them and muffling any prospective disindicalist taint from destabilizing your state at its foundation. For labor includes a pay ladder for just about every industry with regular, notably sized raises based on the quality and length of the service at any given business. Not only that, but workplace safety is also a new government agency to enforce it. For businesses, the government will give them tax breaks based on the compliance of government regulations and reward them in other ways for worker retention rates. Some say it's the most revolutionary document in French history since the rights of man. Others say it's a cheap bribe to buy the people's loyalty. You look at all the infantry equipment we get at the end of the campaign. Modify social Catholic policy, politics, or political power gain. Uh, that's not bad overall. Oh, it's just a little laggy, but that's pretty normal. Um, we've got seven days left. But at this point, I don't know if we'll be able to finish all these focuses, because we're looking pretty good right now. And it's September. Happy September, everybody. Um, just for war goal, retake course states, ten days. I mean, I think we could probably win anyways. I mean, on the front, it looks like we can. It looks like they do have quite a bit of motorized, though, which is kind of interesting. We don't have any anti-tank, which is probably going to be a problem for us. We do have a lot of casts. A crap ton of casts. We really need anti tank. We could try it. And we won't get there in time by the time we want to go to war. Fate of economy, fake of Lichtenstein, no one cares. IEDC, now we're good. Loose ends. And. Uh, yeah, we'll do all this stuff too. Military factories. I do like more. Putin autocrat support. Ooh, cities would be nice though. So. We need more manpower as well, but that's right. Now yeah, we're gonna need more fuel. We're gonna need all sorts of stuff like that. Goes out of that one. 
So these two are the, really the main ones we really need. What else is in the Rice Pact? Bulgaria? Oh yeah, these guys are all killing themselves down there too, which is fine. Um, oh, Morocco is too, but we have Romanians helping us out, which is weird. Whatever. Um, I'm not going to question that. There you go. And... Um, naval stuff, maybe? 42? Um, invasion transport. We'll do this one. Why not? Because we can. So our army over there is 43 divisions. It's looking pretty decent overall, not going to lie. Um, elastic defense. We'll go with elastic defense for now. Sure, why not? We'll go with elastic defense for most of these guys, except for you. I want you to go, well, uh, infiltration assault. And. Oh, let's go over here too. Accomplish heritage. I mean, at this point, it doesn't really matter. Quick improvisation. Oh, we have no railway guns either. I don't. I've not built railway guns for a while now at the time of this recording. Um, uh, ability commander cost. It doesn't really matter too much. I never choose this one. I never use the field officer stuff. I completely ignore it. Planning speed, proper heritage. Uh, theater training, brilliant strategy, invent leadership. Oh, the invent leadership. This one. Uh, dive bombing, even though I'm not really doing anything with dive bombing. Carrier stuff, ground attack. Sure, why not? Alright, so now. They're not in that, right? No, they're not. Oh, they're, oh I forgot about this one, too. Oh, we need more, a couple more divisions down here. Uh, I did completely forget about this front too. Mm. Well, if that's the case, I can probably separate you guys. There you go. That'll work. And they'll probably come shell the living crap out of us, but we do have a lot of planes. I mean, I'm sure they have a lot of planes too at this point as well, but like, uh, we have a crap ton of planes. Like, we seriously have a crap ton of planes. I'll put down resistance all over the place, which is nice. Uh, I need a general, probably. Um, infantry guy. Yeah. Well, let's see what damage we can do and inflict upon ourselves. Um, even though they did with the racks back down in the Mediterranean, I'm not as concerned about that, so let's save and see what we can do. Oh, hello. What the heck? Uh, well, that's not good. Wait, they immediately invaded. How? Oh, don't let them cut us off. Come on. That's stupid. That's really stupid. How do they have divisions deployed down here? That's very stupid. Alright, you gotta go to war these guys too. We can't tolerate this, man. There you go. The Halifax Conference promises. Considering our state of war seems the promises we made at the Halifax Conference no longer need to be heeded. Perhaps we should have known other than a part of that without interest we propose. Oh god. Oh. Oh, look at this. Sink him, sink him. Can we actually like launch in a front attack on the front here? Oh, go into the uh, Belgium would not look bad either. Can we actually do anything here? No, maybe not. Is either they're adding more divisions or we just can't strike through here? Oh, we're gonna be suffering massive casualties, anyways. Hey, it's like a uh, carrier fleet, nice. Oh god, look at that. Um, we thought I lost planes in the first battle. Third battle, we lost more planes. They lost a battleship, eight destroyers, an escort cruiser, and some planes as well. Holy crap, that's nice. So this is a bunch of crap right here, which is stupid. Um, I don't want to push out just yet because we definitely need to finish these guys off as fast as possible. So, we're going to try to blitz through here and all through Italy, this part of Italy. Okay, what the heck? How are they able to do this? I don't understand. Brosifs. Bros. It's starting to piss me off just a little bit now. We don't need this mid. Nice. Right, it's going to be very costly for us, but that's okay. Tuscany's gone, which is good. Uh, it disappears. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, some of that too. Hmm. 
This is stupid. Yeah, uh, we're gonna lose hundreds of thousands of men, aren't we? 30,000, they've lost how many? Against us, they lost 100,000 almost. How's the air war going? We don't even have air superiority, that doesn't make any sense. Of course, we have air superiority up here. Air it's definitely mixed as well. We need to deploy a crap ton of planes. I'm going to force the attack. <clears throat> Corpitism for the working man. This one too. This, man. this is a bunch of crap around here. This is such crap. It's not even funny. Alright, so we're losing on this front or something now, or what? Uh, what's going on here? Whoa! Wow, we just sunk an entire fleet, basically. That's nice. That's super nice. At least in the seas, we're doing pretty okay. We're seeing a crap ton of convoys as well. Beautiful. Come on. Okay. Nice. What's over here ASAP? Uh, except heroism, sure, why not? The Caribbean question. When a colonial empire collapsed, the Caribbean holdings were merged with those of the Great British into the West Indies Federation. However, now that we're capable of administering them ourselves, consider the mode we want to continue this agreement or not. Eh, sure, why not? If I can capitulate Belgium, that'd be great. Um, it's 42, let's grab better artillery already. Better engineers are nice, good. Um, railway guns, maybe? What is this? Oh boy. Nice. Just nice all around. I go the battle states, good. So I want you all to hold, for the most part, because you're not winning. Um, yeah, I want you guys to go in immediately, too. Because we can open up that front down there as well. Other promoted. Right, so at this point, we should do this. Oh, we're gonna need a bit more fuel, aren't we? Good. Ah, uh, they're spreading through. Come on, Romania, bros. I hope we can get those, huh? My god. Where's left? Grab more fuel from someone else, like. You're on. Drastically improve our fuel shortage, hopefully. Yes. Or not. Oh my god, just kill them off. We're gonna a cup of coffee here now, too. Yeah, are we out of guns or something? Yeah, we're out of guns. That's not good. Let's see what you can do. Some areas will be fine, some areas we won't be fine. How do they have air superiority when we have like anti air and all of our divisions too? A lot of their planes should be getting shot down. Good.
The Caribbean question, after the chaos of the French and British revolutions, our colonies in the Caribbean were merging into the West Indies Federation, which came to be politically dominated by the Anglo population rather than the French so far. Uh, we've had to accept this existence nonetheless. Uh, but, due to our own inability to administer our land, of course, both France rebelled, there are those who want to think of policy. That's when we get it back. We lose all stuff down there, I don't really care. This is taking way too freaking long. Are you kidding me, bros? I know it's not, and I know it sucks. I refuse to return our Caribbean holdings. Clearly, their demands have been failed to have the right effect on the Caribbean government, which is the audacity to refuse outright uh, to restore any former French colonies under our control. All this is a humiliating effect to our government. The West Indies Confederation has supported the British, and we cannot risk the onto unless we're pressing the matter further. Try me. Now, give a lot of pressure on this side, too. Might be the final push we really need. Just tons of convoys being sunk. Oh, look at that. Nice. Ten destroyers, too. Awesome. fuel do the Germans actually have? I don't think they have that. Oh, actually, they might have quite a bit if they can get some from the Great Russian State over there. Hey, we linked up. Nice. Good. Take Munich. And the Marine. Cool. There's wind. So you guys are good. Um, you guys are still fine down there, of course. I might just send you guys down here. Let's see what we can do about that. Let's see what the Germans are up to. Oh, they're out of manpower. That's good. They did go to extensive. Or no service by requirement. Wow. Um, we have plenty of guns. We don't. Another Marine, huh? Well, I think we're done with making Marines for now, so. Are we winning in a lot of places? Nah, some places, yeah. Some places, no. Belgium's still, still kind of an issue. So how about we do this? Eh, we're winning in a lot of places, though. Wow, look at all that. Jesus. So how many Frenchmen? 300,000? Versus 600,000? That's not bad. I mean, we keep it up. We will win eventually since they are... What the heck? We got rid of them. I hate this so much. I hate the naval invasions. They just popped out of nowhere. Come on. Come on. That's so stupid. Yeah, I'm not going to stealthy attack then. bad. Just need a lot more fuel. Now we have green air, finally? Thank god, Jesus. Took way too long. That. Let's see. That's up for them. We just need a crap ton of fuel, but well, that's pretty normal. Yeah. 
Should solidify a little bit more. It does help an immense amount when you have air superiority, of course. Oh my god. Nice. Get them. My god, Jesus Christ, what are they on? Like, how are they moving that fast? What the heck? Embar embargo by Madagascar. I don't think anyone really cares about Madagascar right now. Talk about the CSA, huh? Especially when we're destroying it, probably a whole bunch of like convoys and stuff through there. Oh, that's nice. Oh, this is nice. Once Germany's gone, it's all over. So. The Belgians have lost half a million, which they need to lose the entire population. And they have lost all their population. They're not screaming the barrel. The Germans have lost it too. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Flanders is gone, good. How about you guys go here? Ah, President Villain visits the scouts. See how the National Christian Youth Association is doing with its effort to make the French uh, youth as a representative of the CFD party policy. Charles Villain visits its headquarters. An organized youth group uh, led by Captain's Reform Society in something Della Rock had only imagined. He went to the different groups and questioned random members about their views on the current party policies. For example, on the virtues of Della Rock, who saved France from the godless traitors of the common who deceived the French nation and were only concerned about with enriching themselves, not caring about the peasants or the laborers who died so they could live in luxury. After speaking to the youth, Charles called on them to support him in his mission to defend France and Della Rock's vision for a, as a, for a Christian strong France from traitors. The youth is the future for France. A truly social party. The CDF is purified. Everyone loves a party. Uh, loves everyone back. <clears throat> Through our outreach programs, we've placated those who have not yet or will never come around to our view of things. Like us or hate us, few can say we haven't been the best thing to happen in France since the fall of Napoleon I. With such a wide umbrella of a party unifying cl every class of people under one vision, we can now do anything we could ever want. Of course, we read this one as well, I think. Oh, uh, maybe not. Yeah, I read this one earlier, so. Yep. Uh, port towards populist democracy, which we can't do, but presidential state. Our forms are complete, and France enters a new age. In this new political system, the entire nation is geared towards the betterment of all. Social programs help the poorest of all us raise themselves out of their destitution. Labor management work together to iron out their differences, keeping industrial disruptions to an absolute minimum, and keeping the economy choking along better than ever before. Politically, at the top of the uh, power pyramid sits the presidency. Something now described as imperial presidency, the office is now imbued with the power unseen in French history, and arguably closer to that of a dictator than pre-war France. He has near total control of state policy with the legislative and judicial brands reduced to near irrelevancy. Oh, look, Orleans ours. Acting as mere advisory boards rather than a real chicks on the presidential power. Some say it's a dictatorship in all but name, but and that French democracy is dead. Velen, however, knows better. French democracy, fractious and precarious as it was, has now solidified. With a powerful president able to trump over any of the petty disagreements that once paralyzed the government so often, the allure of dictatorship will no longer sway men's hearts. Nice. Finally get more daily uh, increases there. Do we need more guns? More planes? Okay. Both of them would be very nice. Beat him back. What, 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 what are you guys doing? Just, just, just win. Just be perfect. Brosses. Brosses. Collapse of the Rexpect. Oh, and it's going to lag really hard, probably. Or maybe not. But maybe it will be. I don't know. Ah. Collapse of the Reich's Pact. I love it. The Shas Azin. Ukraine. Yeah, that's what I got for you. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. It's ours. It's ours. It's ours, and then it's ours. 
Um, probably take as much as we possibly can right now. Oh, it's a score. We still got plenty of score. That's good. Oh no, we're about Dutch us azine. So. Thank you. Don't think we can really take very much of this, can we? Well, we'll take whatever we can, you know. I'm not going to fight the Japanese for it, but... States, including Singapore, that'd be great. The ships probably suck, but that's okay. Hmm, look at that! We even got Singapore! Nice. Beautiful, my friends, beautiful. Um, you guys, I don't care over there. I want you guys over here. We gotta fight all the way through the Ukraine. All the way down to the Caucasus, basically. You guys can do that over here, that's fine. It'll be fine. Nice. Oh! Look at all these. Oh, it's our own battleship. Nice. Good. Is this the remnants of the German Navy? Yeah, this is the remnants of the German Navy. It's not very good anymore. Um, what is this? Or maybe. The, no, maybe this was the uh, Ost Asian. Deutsch Ost Asian Navy, actually. This was probably uh, one of those colonial parts. And this must be the German Navy, then. Yeah, this must be the, the German Navy. Get those subs out of here. I hate subs when they merge together. Go to repair. Fall of Germany. We've been bragging about Japan. Well, they don't like it that I took all their stuff, so. Tough nuts to them. Alsace et Lorraine. We've done it. We've avenged 1870. We've again regained the province of Alsace and Lorraine, the French state. The French, since the time immemorial of the Sun King, our troops pretty happily in the streets of Strasbourg. The collaborators and the crowds are chased out of our country. <laughs> uh, to join the German dogs in the filthy lamb. The honor of France is finally restored. The sacrifice of many war heroes was not in vain. The hero of Verdun did not fight for nothing. This day will remain in the memories of the one where France be finally became one. The horrible name of Strasbourg will no longer be necessary. Already our magnificent Strasbourg has found its name, and we are French will always remain so. Viva la France! A bas le box. Vous ne passez pas. What's this? Material business. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Reconquer Morocco out of the revolution of German forces. And their native powers were able to derive us out of the wealthy colony of Morocco. Um, however, now that the Germans' interests or themselves have been forced out, we can finally have a golden opportunity uh, to retake the country. That'd be great. I don't think we're already doing that, but whatever. I'm going to keep you guys down here just in case, because I always see new stupid people here. Happy 43, everybody. This is gonna be a giant freaking mess, but that's alright. Without Germans there, I mean, they should crumble pretty quickly. And once these guys die too, uh, we should pretty much have them down and ready to go. Hey, the Dutch are gone too. Yeah. Oh, we got these guys. Awesome. Yeah, I'm more concerned about these guys. The Japanese are just gonna hate us. That's okay with me. I don't care. Don't let him leave. See. Once that's done, we'll come get back going through there, go through here, go through there, finish these guys off as well. You know, all the good stuff. Wind sinker? Nice. 24. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Now you guys go over here. They wanted Berlin back, but we're going to say, nah, not today. As we're pushing here, too. 
King of the Ukraine is the last major power here, huh? Nice. We'll deal with these guys as well, though. Fall of Warsaw. Nice. Belgium? Uh, military occupation. Bohemia? Uh, military occupation. Prince of Villain, from the CDF position. Oh, fate of Italy. Uh, oh well. Upon taking office, Charles Villain reinforced the party ideology and announced the nominal reforms that help ensure the policies from the colonel's area are carried on to help stabilize the nation, of course. But despite vehement opposition from leftist elements to survive the fall of the commune, Villain does not modify the party's view on political reform and plans to declare such a group as traitors to the Republic if it attempts to disrupt the status quo and cause instability. Christianity and democracy are two main status quo are two main components of the CDF, and uh, a sacrifice either's betrayal of what the colonel fought for, and their opinion of the president. The path forward lies in following the traditions and culture. Not in sacrificing these important aspects of French identity in order to appease the new few radical groups. Strength through our traditions will carry us forward. Liechtenstein, Indonesia, French Guiana, integrate into the region. Um, no, they, they didn't give it to us, so no. Our just stability war support, but you know what? We get weekly change almost 1% every week. And for over here, it's plus 0.5, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. Oh, oh wait, should have annexed them. Luxembourg. Uh, wait, we can liberate the commune of Luxembourg. Oh. And the army, do that too. We've got enough political power that I'm not concerned. Railway guns are nice. From Broom. We're also already trains, but we don't really need it. That's not too fair at this point, doesn't really even matter either. Oh, well, not bad, not bad. A better anti-air, huh? Sure, we can have that, why not? Ah, just mopping them up. Including over here, too? Oh, you guys don't even have orders. My bad. There are Russia's divisions out earlier. And the Spanish Civil War is still raging on. I mean, come on, guys. Can you just, like, like flip a coin and see who's going to win? No. Uh, Bosch Pog is... well... It should be gone. Oh! Thank you. Great. I don't have a lot of, uh... places here where we can... do a lot of ideology stuff here, huh? Odd. Very weird. But whatever. I'll put down resistance here too. Other countries as well, would be nice. Nice, beautiful. Keep going, guys. You're doing great. That's a slog, but you're doing fantastic. Ah, Poland's gone too. Wow, I can't take everything. Don't forget Krakow. Beautiful. I almost feel like Napoleon right now, too. Um, is there anywhere else we really need these guys? If not, someone like the, uh, Belarus will be pretty mushy. Let's go to Ukraine as fast as we can. Ukraine's really the one we want. They're the major power. We need a way more armored cars, though, for this. Whee! Armored cars! My god, are we lacking? Crack a lacking. Bit of Poland, Germany. Not oh, Lucas Bulgaria, nice. That's all we can take, huh? Whatever. Um, it's fine. What 
What does this say? Oh, we need to integrate them. We just need more compliance. Oh, that's resistance, pretty much. That's, that's pretty normal. Let's go in there for now. I'll throw these guys on the line later. In just a little bit. Very nice, very nice. Ah. As long as they can't move, that's fine with us. I like it when they can't move. Uh, Belarus has put up a good fight, though, against us. Ukraine, not so much. The Danes, come on. There you go. I don't care about the Danish ships. Spirit is pretty low, though. Failed? Oh well. Why does it keep firing the lift in someone? That's must be bugged. Bugged, bugged, bugged. Keep Verdi playing? I don't want to deal with that. And since we're over here, we have no fuel still, but whatever. Um, radar and an airbase, maybe? Do we not have enough airbases around here to do what we really need to? Tanjanika. Oh no, whatever will we do with it from without the resources from Tanjanika? Oh no. We don't have air superiority still. How? I mean, how do we not have air superiority when they're losing 20, like, roughly planes then? Our average air attack is higher, agility, speed. Like, we are just butchering them in the sky. 3 versus 14. I mean, come on, man. Like, bro -sips. You can't compete. You cannot compete. What's going to do here? Sure, why not? Latvia, Friuli, Poland. Nope. Look at that. That's, that's not bad. Ah, see now, Belarus is looking very good now. We lost so many, not that many guys. We killed off a lot of enemies though. Red Russia's about to give up. Nice. Pesky Romanians. Hey, Smolensk. Roslavl? I don't know how to pronounce that, but hey, we got him. I want the Belarusian Navy, or yeah, where's the Belarusian Navy at? At that a presidential. Today, the France today is radically different from the France of even two years ago. The France today is a strong nation, full of vitality and purpose. Love of the strength and office of the president, there's no bickering. Uh, no protest, no dissension. All of France marches in lockstep behind their valued and beloved president. Some somewhere in their parliamentary system of old, but few actually wish for it to return a set of views. Once that would be too radical to work, they prove themselves. Just as De La Roque wanted. Absolutely. May he rest in peace.
Mario Pool. Use Ivka. Use Ivka. Is that it? Maybe not. Let's see, using my convoys, even though we have a thousand of them. And now we're all fighting down here. Hey, Ukraine's gone. Took out them first. Take all the coasts, which sounds a little familiar to our own timeline right now, but whatever. Um, I don't know that. Nope. Oh, I'm taking it. I don't care about the Ukrainian Navy. Um, honestly, I think I might just end it here. That was pretty good. The French Social Republic has done very, very well for itself. Um, other than that, I don't want to take out Creed. I don't want to take out the Great Caucus States, Brazil, the Republic of South Africa. Who wants to take out the freaking Republic of South Africa? I think we could take these guys out, but I think we're in it there. We've done really well. And uh, Charles is looking pretty good. He's probably pretty happy with what he's accomplished. So, um, crush the box, which we already did, I guess, technically. But that's pretty much it for, gonna be, for this campaign, I think. There's not much else here. I mean, we're not... We can't do that one. Uh, La France Divisible. So, yeah. Pretty fun campaign overall. If you enjoyed it, uh, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know what you thought of this campaign. And the American Civil War is so raging on. Just like the Spanish Civil War. What the heck is wrong with this? And I will see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.